Bonjour, and welcome to French 2 with Mr. McCoy. This is lesson 102, dedicated to adjective agreement. And uh, our running objective for this lesson is for you to be able to state at the end of the lesson the general principles concerning uh, adjective agreement, noun adjective agreement, um, with respect to both regular adjectives and with a few classes of irregular adjectives as well. So let's begin with our uh, fundamental statement of truth, so to speak. Complete this for me real quick. Adjectives in French have to agree in blank and blank with the nouns they modify. Did you come up with gender and number? I hope you did. Basic, basic truth. Adjectives in French, keep this in mind have to agree in gender and number with the nouns they modify. Remember we have two genders in French, two grammatical genders, masculine and feminine. We have two categories as far as number, singular and plural. That gives us uh, four forms, masculine singular, feminine singular, masculine plural, feminine plural. You guys, I think, pretty good idea of how, uh, how things work with regular adjectives such as bleu um, and you guys know for example you look up the word bleu in a French English dictionary the equivalent one they give you um, for example bleu you always get the base form the masculine singular form that's our point of reference our base form our starting point now to get your feminine form you add a silent e To get the feminine plural form, you have silent ES. To get the masculine plural form, just add an S. So you have bleu, 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 and bleu. Now, the only thing to uh, keep in mind for regular adjective, if it ends, if the base form ends in a silent consonant, you'll end up pronouncing that consonant in the feminine forms. So we have the color green. Ver, the forms would be ver, ver, but vert, vert. So that's your regular adjective pattern. Now, in this video, I'm going to add to this a couple things concerning four groups of commonly occurring irregular adjectives. Alright, what are those groups? First, the adjectives ending in the silent E. Some of you might want to dispute those are irregular, but anyway, masculine singular adjectives or base or adjectives whose base form ends in a silent E. Okay? The feminine form is identical. You don't Add anything to get the feminine form. Next group will be the adjectives whose base form ends in eux. For them, you get the feminine form by changing eux to euse. The next group are the ones whose base form ends in an f. For them, the feminine form ends in V E. And finally, we got those whose base form ends in EL. Their feminine forms end in E L L E. Now, of course, there are many other groups, many other irregular actions. I'm not worried about those right now. Let's just take these four. Okay. Here are a couple of examples to illustrate that. Badir, for example, que Scotty McCreary est jeune. Taylor Swift est jeune aussi. William est heureux. Kate est heureuse aussi. Tiger Woods est sportif. Serena Williams est sportive aussi. Dave Chappelle is spiritual. 
Wanda Sykes is spiritual aussi. A couple of examples. Okay. So the main the main question in terms of action of agreement. Okay. If we have the base form, masculine single form, how do we get the feminine form? From your regular adjective. Let me show you those four groups, how we how we do that for those four groups of irregular adjectives. Now another two little things I want to add to that are the question of how do we get the masculine plural form of a couple of different classes of adjectives. Now there are two. Yeah, you've seen a few of these already, actually. And here we are. If your base form, the masculine singular form, ends in an S or an X, the masculine plural form will look the same. So, for example, C'est un stylo gris. Ce sont des stylo gris. C'est un homme courageux. Ce sont des hommes courageux. Now, luckily, feminine forms, if you have your feminine singular form, it should never be a problem to get the feminine plural form. Alright? Always just add an S. No tricks there. Okay? I promise we will get some practice with this in writing. You might want to do an internet search, uh, check out some of the resources for maybe some more examples. Okay, you can come up with your own example sentences to represent those different groups. Help you fix those in your memory. Either way, bonne chance, bon courage, merci bien, et au revoir.